Hi, Hotep, Namaste, peace. Um, today I'm going to look at um, this book, The African Origins of Civilization. And it's by Chiop Anta Diop. And I'm just going to do a summary. Um, it says that laymen and scholars alike will welcome the publication of this one volume translation of the major sections of C.A. Diop's two books. Um, nation, Negress, El Culture, um, which have profoundly influenced the thinking about Africa around the world. It was largely because these works that at World Festival of Arts held in Dhaka 1966, Dr. Diop shared with his late W.E.D. Boer um, an award as the writer who had exerted the greatest influence on Negro thought in the 20th century. The African origin of civilization, myth or reality, um, prepared the author's cooperation and presented by Dr. Diops uh, the main thesis that historical, archaeological, anthropological evidence and supports the theory that civilization of ancient Egypt, the first that history records was actually Negroid in or origin. The present volume contains 50 illustrations, many of them newly selected for this book, and it just continues about this book. And it's a very good book, and it's a must-have for all the, um, those uh, people who are very serious about um, understanding um, the origins of man. Okay, so the first um, chapter, the preface says the meaning of the work. Chapter 1, what were the Egyptians? Chapter 2, the birth of the Negro myth. Modern falsification of history. Could Egyptian civilization have originated in the Delta? Could the Egyptian civilization be of Asian origin? The Egyptian race as seen as tra treated by the anthropologists. Um, arguments supporting a Negro origin, arguments opposing a Negro origin, people of Africa and from the Nile Valley. And then it goes on, and it's got lots of illustrations of the Sphinx, you know, um, um, different things which I'll show you in a moment. Um, I'll just read you a little blurb, and then I'll get on. And it says, um, just what were the Egyptians? And it says, the Egyptians that they believed uh, of the cold Sidian um, to be descended from the army of the Sorceress, my own conjectures were founded first and on the fact that they were black skinned and have woolly hair. Okay? And it talks about the population of India as well. And the same had the same tints of skin um, with those um, of Ethiopia as well. Okay? And um, okay? And that's a handsome East African hermetic type person. Um, let's see. Um, this is a pharaoh from the 12th dynasty. Okay? Right, um, and this one is uh, uh, how the hair, the hair, modern haircuts of the Watusi are um, uh, identical doubles of Pharaoh Ramesses II. So there's one as well. Okay, and it's just this one is um. The black peasant prisoners of, on the tomb of Pharaoh, and also the Egyptian princess and three Senegalese young ladies. Oh, you see that? And this is in Zimbabwe, and it's called the Falcon and Crocodile are Echoes of Egypt. Is that one there? This one? Okay. And then, um, let's have a look. 
This one says the Congolese Cubist mask. So, and I, I just think it's um, you know, just essential reading, and it's it's good, you know, the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. Okay, and it's good reading for the younger generation, also the older generation, and those who are just ignorant of the fact, really. But um, you know, mainly I'm concerned with the the, the younger ones and um. This is like just an introduction, and I'm just saying go out and and get the book. It's a good read. Um, there's a painting here of the Sahara cave painting, cave painting of a, a Negroid woman, and this is from how many millions of years ago? So, oh, you see that? And you know, what note have I written there? Yeah, so this is a must buy. Um, the African Origin of Civilization, Myth or Reality. Um, C.A. Diop, Doctor. Dr. C.A. Diop. And it's a must buy for any serious um, scholar, student of um, history. And, you know, go out and get yourself a copy. So thank you again. Mahat Hotep. Peace. One love. Namaste. Same time, same place. Bye-bye. <laughs>